Dear students, welcome to all of you in this video lesson of B.Ed. first year of Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad. Today, we will have a discussion on listening skill, differences between listening and hearing, what are the major types of listening, and eventually we will be discussing characteristics of a good listener. The topic is prescribed in the second unit. The name of the unit is Listening Comprehension and Speaking Skill. This course, Communicative English, is for both regular and distance mode students of B.Ed. After watching this video, we will be enabling you to understand what is a listening skill, to know differences between hearing and listening, to understand the types of listening. Last. It is not a least one. You would be familiar with characteristics of a good listener. <laughs> listening is an ability to comprehend what others say. It is nothing but a faculty to comprehend what others say. Listening skills are the ways to help you to listen something more effectively. Shall we have a definition from Oxford Dictionary? Listening is to give one's attention to a sound. We know 85% of what we know, we learn by listening. Here I quotes what Malcolm Forbes is telling about listening. The art of conversation lies in listening. Every good conversation does start with good listening. Listening is a skill of critical significance in all aspects of life. We probably spend more time using listening skill than any other skills. The first and foremost communication skill that we learn in our life is nothing but listening. The four letters L, S, R, W. The abbreviation for these letters are listening, speaking, reading and writing. The first L and R stand for a receptive skill through which we get information. Then both S and W stand for productive skill through which we can produce information, ideas, etc. Now I think you got the meaning of what is LSRW. It involves five stages. Usually we listen to somebody's talk, a usual listener have to have a five process of listening. First, he or she will be receiving the information. After receiving information, he will be understanding what is idea he got. Based on the understanding, the third step, he or she will be evaluating the process the ideas he got from the speaker. In the evaluation process, we will be evaluating what is a bad one, what is a good one, what is the main sense in the speak. After evaluation, we will be remembering the things based on these four steps. After receiving, we will be understanding the ideas. After understanding, we will be evaluating Based on the evaluation, we will be remembering. After this, we will be responding based on the ideas we got it from our mind. Shall we have a differences between listening and hearing? Listening is a skill and conscious act, whereas hearing is an unconscious act. While we are hearing, we don't know that we are hearing the sound. Whereas in the case of listening skill, it is a conscious act. Our body knows that we are listening some conversations. Whereas in the case of hearing, it is an unconscious process. Here, listening need focus and care. Whereas hearing does not require care and attention. Third major difference between listening and hearing is listening is a receptive skill, it is a mental process. Whereas, the case of hearing, 
it is a physiological act, it is nothing but a bodily action. Once we have a hear, automatically the hearing will come or we have to listen that sounds. <laughs> Types of listening based on the purpose, based on the style of the listener, we can categorize listening into different types. Casual listening is to listen to someone or something without much attention or concentration. Listening to people in bus can be given as an example for casual listening. It is usually happening in our daily life. Well, when we are traveling in the bus, we will be hearing some sound from the pupils. It is nothing but the casual listening. We will not be giving much concentration to the sound we are hearing from the pupil. Focus listening. It is an intentional and systematic. The listener gives full attention or concentration on what the speaker is saying to get information or knowledge. In the case of focus listening, it may differ based on the context. Shall we have an example for focus in listening? I will be making you a sense that you are in the classroom. Next day you will be having examinations. Your teacher will be lecturing you. What is the listening style you will be adopting in that context? Absolutely, it is focus listening. Okay, you have to write in based on the listening, today's listening. Then you will be writing down the points. You will be jotting down the different summaries of the lessons and everything. That is a kind of a listening we usually practice the day before of the examinations. Critical listening is also called evaluate listening. This type of listening involves critical evaluation of the speaker's ideas and thought, speaker's depth of knowledge, choice of words, tone, style, etc can be given as an example for critical listening. In a critical listening, we will be criticizing what is the content level of the speaker, what is his style, what is the caliber he is having, what is the points he is creating through his speech. These are the things usually happens in critical listening. In the case of appreciate listening, in this type of listening, the listener appreciate and support the speaker. Listener encourages and motivates the speaker to speak more and more. It is usually happening when we hear a good music, jokes, stories. What we usually do when we hear the music? Absolutely, we will be encouraging the musicians or joke makers or storytellers, telling that, can you, can you have a, again please? Can you make it again please? These are the comments usually made by the spectators. This can be given as an example for appreciated listening. We will be supporting the speaker. Pretentive listening is also called forced listening. The listener pretends as if he is listening attentively to the speaker, but actually he or she is not listening to the speaker. It is happening in our daily life also. If we do not have mood to listen somebody's talk, usually it happens in the classroom in any other context also. We pretend that we move our bodies, we nod our heads, we smile at the speaker, actually we are not listening to the speakers. It is happening in pretentive listening. Another name, for, name of the pretentive listening is nothing but forced listening. It is absolutely forced listening. Biased listening, in this type of listening, the listener is biased and prejudiced against the speaker. The listener has preconceived notion about the speaker and the speech. He is already decided to know to trust the speaker. Before the speaking is beginning, the listener may be having some mental intention that I will not be going to hear today. He is having, he is a, that gentleman, he will not be giving the main ideas, he will be giving the only the few points, then here it is happening biased listening, okay. The listener may be having preconceived notion about the speaker and his speech. 
Let's have an idea on which are the characteristics of a good listener. How a listener can be a good. We will have a few points. After that, I will be concluding this one. Shall we start? Okay, good. Don't jump into con conclusions before completely listening. It's a good suggestion to become a good listener. The first one is, while you are listening, don't jump into conclusion before completely listening to the speaker's talk. Next one, keep his or high, her emotions away from the situation. We will be keeping our emotions away from the emotions of the speaker. We will be hiding everything what we have to pretend till the end of the speech is completed. Provide feedback on what the speaker has said. After the successful completion of the speech, the good listener, what he usually do? He will be providing feedback based on the speaker's talk. Fine. Ask the speakers to repeat if he, he, he can't understand something. This is also happens when speech is gets over. When it is absolutely getting over, the good listener, he will wait till the speech is over. After that, he will be telling the speaker to repeat one more or two times or based on the points he couldn't get and etc. A good listener evaluate the speaker ideas and opinions. He will be evaluating the ideas or opinions. Based on the evaluation, he will be judging that okay, speaker is good, speaker's point of view is very good, a marvelous, wonderful. Okay, we will be con concluding that speech is incredibly well, amazing. A good listener knows how to tackle physical disturbance usually happening in our daily life. While we are here in the conversations, we will be having physical disturbance in the kind of a power cut, in the form of a other disturbance from the audience or spectators. The good listener, he will be tackling the physical disturbance. Then he will be writing down the important points or information in the form of a keywords. He will be absolutely jotting down the inform information that is main points or keywords in a paper. He or she pays attention to a non-verbal communication like facial expression, gestures, tone, etc. We know the non-verbal communication talks a lot. When you look at my eyes, it talks a lot. When you are see my actions, it talks a lot. You will be getting the ideas more than what I am speaking from. It is a kind of importance we get it from non-verbal communication. In this video lesson, we have discussed what is a listening skill, what are the difference between hearing and listening, which are the major types of listening? What are the characteristics of a good listener? You can read more about this topic from the books and other resources you are watching on your screen. You can contact on this address. Dear students, that's all for now. I'll be coming with next video. Till then, thank you.